What are you doing? Nothing. That's not your nothing face. That's your I'm up to something face. I'm coming. I'm just quick. Let me sit sure down before I'm so pregnant. <laughs> what? Nothing. What? I'm pretty. It's because I got good genetics. Just kidding. Yeah. Ow. I have to put my leg over you because. Should I push my teeth? No, your teeth look fine. Yeah. At least you have all of your teeth. Mine's like broken. Hi guys, I'm Hillary and this is Mike and we would like to share our first pregnancy vlog with you. One, because we feel that it's something that we'll use to look back on when we decide to have another child. Um, and two, because... Because we want to share our experience with everyone else so they can see what they might have to look forward to or might not. Um, we also want to share the experience from both the men and women's perspectives because there's, there's a lot of other vlogs that are out there already but they only show it from the woman's point of view so we kind of want to show what it's like for the guys to be pregnant yeah you wish no you don't wish i'll be 28 weeks this week um i want to be able to get through it without him and he'll be able to talk about in future videos talk about some of the meltdowns i've had and and insecurities that i've faced and just other things that I've either forgotten or blocked out. <laughs> but uh, in this first video, we're just going to talk about how we met. So you get a little bit of an idea of our Of story. who we are. So Mike and I met actually online through a dating site called OkCupid. Um, I was perusing the local females in the Minneapolis area. I was in town for work. I was living in Chicago at the time. And I was able to come across her profile. Ugh. And she had a sexy pic with her. She's wearing some nice nice glasses. I look, she looked pretty sexy. But I was like, okay. No, I think I like, the I picture like that. that you actually commented on was oh, yeah. the other one. We both had all these different pictures uh, of us. Um, she had a picture where she was doing some pull-ups. And her lats looked pretty nice. Lats like... Beast mode. What were they like? Was they like... When I was like... Yeah. <laughs> when I was ripped and strong. Was like beast mode. And I was like, that's hot. And so I commented... And, I commented... Like any D-bag would. Nice lats, girl. I was like, hey, girl. Nice lats. And it worked. Uh, it didn't really work, but I read his profile, and I actually laughed hysterically. And what I liked the most about it was he was obviously very educated, which is really, really sexy to me, but um, his profile was really funny. I can't remember the last excerpt of... Don't, it was like, don't message me if... I said, don't message me if you have daddy issues. <laughs> um, daddy issues and I don't know. We'll have to pull that up for like... My standards are higher than your heels. Something, it was something clever and it was really funny and it, it actually made me message him back because I, I mean, I don't know, uh, I think most women agree that they get so many messages a day that you don't even really, you never really respond to any of them, especially if you get one like that. You're like, yeah, whatever. So the okay. strategy is to send out as many as possible. <laughs> yeah, this one worked. And see which one. No. Um, so I got snagged by his profile. Another thing was um, all of his pictures, each one was different. He had kind of like, he had like your standard D-bag picture um, where he him. looked like really, really hot, but I'm like, ugh, he's probably stupid. And then he had his nerdy tech advisor picture, and then he had... Take note, guys. <laughs> and then he, he just had all these different varieties, and he seemed really well-rounded, so I was like, eh. But, and he lived in, and it said that he lived in Chicago, and this was during the summer, this was last summer. Yeah, I was and, in town for work, and I was browsing the local hotties while I was leaving town actually yeah and um i have a bunch of girlfriends in chicago so um last summer when i was um free i i mean i i worked a couple jobs i bartend and i i'm in grad school but i didn't have class during the summer it was a really hard semester so i i took the summer off 
And um, I had been frequently visiting Chicago to visit my girlfriends just to get away from um, Minneapolis because I feel like I've, I've worn it out uh, over the past 12 years. So I um, was going to be in town in Chicago because I was going to watch the Notre Dame USC game because <laughs> I wasn't going to that game this year. Uh, I'm originally from South Bend, so I'm a huge Notre Dame fan. So when I'm not going to the games, I usually head to Chicago and um, watch them at some sort of a, a Notre Dame bar. So that was my plan in general. And we had been talking back and forth and I'm like, well, what the hell, you know, I'm gonna, I'll am i be out there next weekend for a day, you know, um, come in on Saturday and then fly back Sunday morning. So I'm like, yeah, we can meet up, whatever. And at this point, because I had been dating, I kind of was like over it. I was like, whatever, I'm going to see my girlfriends. If it works out, if we have some fun, then then cool. But it was, I wasn't putting much yeah, so effort into it, obviously. And he can talk to you about that. <laughs> Definitely didn't put so any effort on, into uh, it. I was on a Tinder date, actually. And I, say, I seen that. I got a message back from, from her while I was on my Tinder date. And I was like... Oh, all right, all right. So I felt more excited about getting the message back from her than being on that date that I was at, that, that I was on. This so. poor girl, she's gonna like come across this and be like, that ever. Yeah, ever. Yeah. No. So I was like, so I was like, all right, all right. That's some good coming this weekend. We'll see. On that Saturday, I think it was a Saturday. Oh God. I uh, <laughs> borrowed my brother's car. I grabbed my brother's car because you drove a Mercedes at the time. I was driving a Chevy Silverado. Which, if you knew both of them, you'd think it was, like, the opposite. But, I mean, even though the Chevy Silverado is, like, way nicer. I mean, but, I mean, the for, for girls, girls, like, Mercedes is, so. I'm not, like, a huge into cars, anything. It really doesn't matter. If you can get you from point A to point B, whatever. But... I, I was kind of I was kind of impressed. So my brother let me borrow <laughs> the Mercedes. Yeah, I had worked like two doubles like the two days before. I hadn't even like showered in like two days. I had like no makeup on. She had these ugly Victoria's. No, they could have been Zubas for all I know. But I had or, or I had a Notre flares. Dame jersey on and my grubby Notre Dame like football hat that I've worn for like five years yeah. in a row, and it, you know it was very unimpressive. But at the same point, it wasn't really. I wasn't initially coming to see him. I was I was gonna watch the game and um, had head out to the bars with with my girlfriends. So. Mike was just an afterthought at this so, point. Might as well get some D in the process. <laughs> oh my god, you had to, didn't you? Okay, so, so yeah, I it was I was very unimpressive. Um, we went to breakfast. It was kind of where did we go again? Better and berries. Yeah, that Probably. was somewhere you suggested. It was better, kind of like and berries. Uh, you know, my nice. first my first impression is I was like, all right, he's sexy, he's good looking, keeps in shape, he's you know, educated. I'm like, this will be, this will be fun for like early afternoon sort of deal. And we had breakfast and it was a little, it was kind of a little like, I'm not like you, you and me when you know us, we're not like the nervous kind of people, but I was a little nervous, I think, because I wasn't putting my best foot forward because I kind of was like so grubby and just whatever. So I was kind of a little, um, timid at first throughout breakfast. And then, um, I don't know, were you a little nervous? Um, I don't think I was as nervous as far as, I, like, like I was, I was a little bit nervous, um, because she has some attitude, and she noticed, first thing you notice, <laughs> she definitely had some attitude, <laughs> and, and, uh, she was very intelligent, and that's something that I had found on these different dating websites, like, okay, Cupid, and Tinder, and all these other ones is... A lot of the people that you find, even if you go out on a date with them, they're still not all Few very smart. Few bricks short of so, a load. So <laughs> I, was, I wanted to find something. I wanted to find a, a girl that had it a little bit more together up there, and uh, and, and she did. So I was, I was definitely a little bit intimidated by that. But, um, yeah, she was she was kind of grungy, just like she was saying. <laughs> but but, but, I could, but I could tell I could tell there was uh, there was beauty underneath that Notre Dame hat. And, and uh, yeah, not like this. <laughs> and faded Victoria's Secret yoga pants. You know what? Would you have liked me to wear Zubas? Sorry, like maybe. <laughs> so anyway, no. <laughs> but um, but we went out to breakfast, and she seemed 
like a smart girl. And then we went over. <laughs> yeah, man. What's she's smart. <laughs> but then we went over to meet up with her other friend, and we had a conversation. It was over by Wrigley Field. Yeah, because Rach bartends this other over bar there. And, mm-hmm. and but actually, before that, we made a pit stop at my house. <laughs> and uh and yeah and and made a baby no he's lying we didn't make a baby <laughs> we practiced we didn't practice yeah we did <laughs> maybe we did but i don't know if you want to you want to know show how it goes down or say how it goes you down you want to show how it goes down no <laughs> we're gonna have to end that out <laughs> No, um, we basically, we were very into each other, but we both didn't want to, like, ruin it, but we're, we both kind of have impulsive tendencies, um, and we both were like, oh, we don't want to ruin this, we should go on a couple more dates, but, I mean, we really didn't know how it was going to go, and I was only in town for the weekend, so, well, whatever, and I basically... (laughs) She just gave me an ultimatum, pretty much. She's like, well, she's like, if you don't have sex with me, I'm just going to go find someone else tonight. I'm like, well, I'm, I, might, uh, I might as well be the one if you're going to do someone like, while you're not, here. Not one of my finest. Not one of my finest moments. I might moments. as well be that deep, so. <laughs> not one of my finest moment, moments. Um, and also, like, a little bit about my history is, I, I mean, I used to be, like, back in college and stuff like that. Like, I, I didn't have sex. I used to be... A, I don't know, like not a virgin, but I had sex in high school and stuff. But I was uh, I was celibate actually all throughout college. A little personal info, but I was celibate pretty much all throughout college and up until like, I within still this don't believe within him. within this last <laughs> year, I ended up changing that a little bit. And I'm getting older and stuff like that. I might as well uh, start getting out there and getting my experience yeah. I made that change <laughs> uh, I'm just wasn't. kidding I'm joking yeah, wasn't there, but... I'm joking but uh yeah, yeah. that was good so okay well it we was had... good so so we did it and then we went over to visit her friend at a bar that she was at with her other friend and sat had a friendly conversation and Throughout this time, I realized how smart that she was and intelligent and, and witty and making different random jokes and how into sports and stuff like that. Well, she so she seemed like a like a real chick. She didn't seem like she was just there was just carry my handbag. There. there was just nothing <laughs> up there, you know. So, but she, she was she was real. So I, I, I like that a lot. And then and that's when did we? Quality I was looking for in. She was athletic, too. I mean, like, that's another big thing that turns me on. I mean, I saw those pull-ups, and for me, I'm into that, you yeah. know? Like, I'm, in, I'm, I'm into lifting. I'm into working out. I'm into sports. I played a little semi-pro football. And I played soccer. And so. I played football for Winona State University. And and I played at the U of M. Yeah. <laughs> And, uh, and that's, that's another very big turn on, um, then I had to work for the day, uh, giving out pizza rolls. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. So he, he left for like four or for five hours. And... Pizza rolls and, uh, ended up coming back after giving out all the pizza rolls for the day. <laughs> pizza rolls. How random. Um, yeah. So that was like how many hours? It was a Dirk Bentley concert. Yeah, that's that's right. Um, And so, whatever, night comes around. Like, I had been with my girlfriends all day. And um, before we went to watch the game, or I'm sorry, the game was earlier. And then we were going to go out later. And so, I went back to my girlfriend's place and I showered. I only carry, I had like a little backpack, like, like I was camping. Like, I didn't bring anything. I had my, like, ID, my wallet, and a dress and heels. That's it. Maybe a pair of underwear, unless I lost them at Mike's. Just kidding. <laughs> anyway, um, so I showered, and I'm like, all right, well, that was a good day. Um, it's not that I wish I looked better, but I was like, well, this is going to be really, really funny tonight. Because I 
I put, I like, I put it together. I was like, all right, I looked pretty backwoods disgusting earlier. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta turn it on tonight. Just, just so he can, even if it doesn't work out, just so that he can see what, what I look like underneath all that. So, um, I had on what dress today? She had a nice pink dress. Oh yeah, dress it was, I had the, I had a tight pink, uh, tube dress and real high black heels and. She was looking sexy. And that was when I, <laughs> yeah, I did look good. I was blonde too. She looked good. I, well, I was, I've always been blonde, blonde until pregnancy. <laughs> and I had a buddy that was there. He was a bouncer. It was nice to show her off in front of the. So I'm like, yeah, this is what I, I look know, like you know, when I, I you like, know, shower. Like, yeah, buddy. <laughs> there you go. I was talking to him for a little while. I was like, all right. Yeah. So, Check out my arm candy. <laughs> so needless to say, that's kind of like our story. And I went back home and worked and we kept in contact. Mike moved in like two months later, I would say, right? Yeah, something like that. Like two months later, he, he has best friends here. So it worked out for him and he does a lot of work here. So it just made sense because we were... We were pretty much all about each other. I was actually with my roommate in Barcelona and Dublin, Ireland, and Mike and I Skyped uh, probably six, seven hours a day during this, like, 14-day trip, you know. Um, That goes to show you, like, how much we were into each other. Um, I was also in the middle of my semester, too, so I was doing work, so it wasn't, like, a party a big party phase. Um, we did a lot of things in Dublin besides partying. Um, we went to traditional uh, Irish Celtic dance sort of deal in Barcelona. We went to, we watched Barcelona play championship game, which was incredible. Um, we did a lot of stuff, but I also was in school in a hybrid class for my master's program. So I was doing that, talking to Mike, and trying to experience the cultures out there. So that's when we first started falling for each other. And then when I got back from Dublin, he picked me up at the airport. And that's kind of like when we really started falling hard for each other, right, I would say? Yeah, I started falling for her. When she was over in Europe, and that's when we started officially going out. The yeah. I asked her out, and I just... Weird, right? The, like, you don't want to wait flash till... forward in my mind, and I'm like, I'm just seeing that smile on her face, and <laughs> seeing the smile on her face when just talking to her on, on Skype just made me feel really good and feel well-recepted. And, uh, I, and, and, and she was... Gorgeous. I mean, like there, there could gorgeous could not, blonde. Now I'm all like blonde. brunette and never so, been a brunette. So <laughs> um, but yeah, just gorgeous, and I just looked forward to just looking at her while she was talking. Didn't matter what she was saying, I guess. But <laughs> you never listen to what I say, anyway. So, <laughs> but um, no, I, I ended up doing a, a flash forward in my mind and just thinking about whether. If something like me and her would work out or not and I just couldn't see it not working out so I was like all right well I can't see it not working out and what did I say you, you were just like this is gonna this is gonna happen anyway yeah so. I'm like I'm like well I, and I just had a feeling I just had a gut feeling that eventually this is gonna happen why not why not start it now now so we started dating yeah, while so I was away in Europe in with Europe. my roommate. <laughs> so yeah, and, and I mean, like, and it, and it wasn't just any random thing. I mean, honestly, like before I had like I, like I was on that one Tinder date before I had met her. I mean, I was talking to a, a couple of different girls, but as soon as I had met her, I had completely just stopped because <laughs> I didn't want to talk to. <laughs> <laughs> um, she, was, I, she, she was like the ultimate, the ultimate, um, the ultimate hunt, the ultimate, <laughs> but, I don't know about hunt, but, uh, she was, uh, based on your big buck hunter skills, there was no hunt coming from you, I um, kicked your ass. <laughs> um, no, she was the ultimate trophy, and I wanted it, so, that was the only thing I wanted, I didn't, I didn't have to think about anything else, that's all I had to think about and it wasn't it wasn't hard it wasn't 
sometimes uh, with different things, like there's a pursuit where it's where it's, where it's a challenge or something like that. With us, I feel like it just ended up clicking and it just ended up working. So there there wasn't that that frustration where oh. I sent a text or I called, but she didn't call me back yet. Oh, what should I do? You know, we just had a lot of shared, very similar interests. Um, and that made it really easy for us to transition into a couple very, very quickly because we shared a lot of commonalities, you know, um, not just the athletics and academics. He had already done his master's. I was almost done. We kind of were at the point where we were looking to settle down, but we weren't looking to settle. We just kind of, fell into each other's um interests and and it clicks you know we're a really really good team and a good partnership um i'm very i'm very high strung and energetic and mike's very energetic and and positive but he's also very very calm and laid back and that's like somebody that i really need in my life i need that perfect balance and um with mike he was it there is i haven't had anyone else make me feel like that ever there's always been like we can get around that you know or maybe settle for that with Mike I I've never had to settle he's everything that I want so it's it's really nice to to have that because that's something I thought that I would never have so Um, it works the same way like before I ended up moving in uh, after the first couple months of dating I mean I was still living in Chicago and we were kind of bouncing (laughs) back and forth but I was working a lot uh, at the same time and I was working uh, doing a, an education program I teach uh, senior citizens I, I one of my jobs is to teach senior citizens how to use smartphones and tablets uh, and I was over at an AARP conference which is perfect spot for that in Atlanta and her brother was having a wedding um, so I yeah. was in Atlanta, we were talking on Skype. And, My bro got married. And uh, and she had originally told me that her brother was getting married uh, the very first time that we met. And she and how she needed a date to the wedding. I didn't but say she, I she need a date. She I wasn't was like... asking. She wasn't asking me. She, 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 I, I just basically said I didn't want to be the yeah. sexless innkeeper at my own brother's wedding, yeah. you know, because I was on Christine's side, and I'm like, hell no. It was kind of like a little nudge, like, hey, would you be interested enough to... to... Yeah, so, I mean, that kind of, like, sparked off even more conversation leading into our relationship and like being like, Oh, when she mentioned that I was like, it's like, I want to be, I want to be that person. I want to be the date to her brother's wedding. Didn't even know it was in Ohio, but, (laughs) (laughs) but, but, uh, I had a decent job that actually ended up, um, flying you out, flying me out because otherwise they would have just flown me back to Chicago. Um, but they ended up flying me back to, uh, they ended up flying me back to where Ohio, Columbus. Yep, that's right. And I got over to her brother's. Oh, so I thought he was I, gonna I, miss I it. Over, yeah, so so I got over to uh, the hotel. I checked in, and then I was about to get on the bus, and I had met her dad previously on Skype. <laughs> I know when I was back but at home. But never in person before, but I saw yeah, him when he got on, on the bus, so briefly. we ended up taking a picture together. I was like, let's take a picture. And I we know. sent it over to Hillary. While I was like in the midst was, of getting she was ready to do the, the wedding. Yeah. <sighs> and sent it over to Hillary. And I was so happy. I'm like, oh, my two favorite men. And, uh, and then when I saw her at the wedding, it was just amazing she looked beautiful and and she was just everything that I had ever wanted before in a girl and that's when I I mean that was leading up to that that secured the feeling my feeling of love for her aww you sap (laughs) I'm just kidding (laughs) the wine helped out too but wine yeah right you like never drink (laughs) Um, that's kind of how we progressed into a partnership and have 
come to really respect and love each other. And um, I think the next video that we are going to put out is how we, um, after four months of only dating, we knew that this was it. This 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 is the one, you know, kind of like when you know, you know, and we decided to plan to have a child. So that's going to be the next video, how we went about the uh, planning and strategizing stage. And Mike's really excited to talk about it's that. It's a really fun one. Yeah, it's a really fun video. He loves talking about how I'm we plan. I'm an expert in family planning now, by the way. <laughs> no. Yeah, no. So um, just stay tuned for that next video. This one was kind of a long one, but we felt that it was important that you that you understand who we are um, as people and how we've grown together. This is going to be great to look back on, um, even right now as we're watching the clips in between. Um, puts a big smile on our face already. Um, but also we would like to share that with other people that might be interested in having a baby or... Or not having a baby. Maybe, or maybe. laughing at other people's <laughs> or, or, or <laughs> meltdowns other people. yeah. <laughs> and their no transition through pregnancy. Yeah. We're going to talk about both perspectives rather than just the female's perspective like they do in a lot of other vlogs. Stay tuned for our next video. I know this one was a little bit of a long one, but hopefully it was really entertaining because it was entertaining for us. We'll see you soon. That is going to have to be all edited. Oh, okay.